Hi, this is Jason from Rockland Technologies, and today we're going to be doing the hardware and software setup of the Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 Mini. We'll open our box here to see what's inside. We have our setup instructions, and we have our Alpha R36A router. We also have our Alpha AWUS 036 NHA booster, already in its suction cup holster. And underneath the divider, we have our power supply, which I already have one set up here for our demonstration. We also have a USB cable that's going to go between this device and this device. We have an Ethernet cable, which probably you won't use unless you're doing a firmware update or you otherwise want to hook up by Ethernet. And then we have our clip and suction cup attachments for the green 36NH. And finally, we have our two antennas one for the router and one for the USB receiver. So first we're gonna take one of the antennas and we're gonna screw that onto the antenna connection port on the back of the router and put the orientation so that it's up like this. And we're gonna take the other antenna and put it on the green adapter. Now, most of you will probably be using the suction cup which slides just in like this to suction cup it against the window. So that orientation, your antenna will point straight up. If you're gonna be sitting this on a desktop or shelf, you'll wanna have the antenna still pointing straight up. So make sure to use the elbow to set the antenna to the correct orientation. Now we're gonna take the USB cable here and get that unraveled so that we can hook it up correctly. We have one end of the cable that's going to go into the AWUS036NH. It can only go in one way, and you'll kind of hear it click in place. And we're going to take the other end of our cable and plug it into the front of the Alpha R36A router. So that'll go in just like that. And then we're going to take our power supply, plug it into the wall, and we're going to plug it into the power connector on the back of the router. Now, this router is a lot like a mini computer. It takes about 60 seconds to boot up. So when you power it on, you're gonna see some flashing lights. You're gonna see the power light, but let it sit for a good 60 seconds, maybe even longer than that, until all the lights settle down and you see the sys light on. Once you've got to that point, the router is done booting up and you can go ahead and go over to a Microsoft Windows 10 computer. That's what we're gonna be using today to do the software setup. And you can continue to follow this video for those steps. If you're gonna be doing the setup over a phone, go to our YouTube channel because we do have other videos showing you how to do the setup on an iPhone or an Android phone. Now that we have the hardware setup complete, it's time to begin the software setup. Look for the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right, click it, and then look for the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 network. Once you click on the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 network, you can click connect automatically, and then click on connect. It can take up to about 30 seconds for your computer to connect to the Wi-Fi Camp Pro network. I'm going to speed this section up so that you don't have to wait the full 30 seconds if you're just watching. Once connected, it is normal to see a no internet status with an open connection. We're going to open an internet browser, and in the address bar, we're going to type in 192.168.36.1. Now hit the enter key. Now we are taken to the setup page where we get to input our administrator password. This is a password you create that can be eight characters or longer. If you have a browser that allows it, there should be an eye icon that allows you to see your password to double check for typos, repeat your password, and then double check again to make sure that you have no typos, and hit submit. Remember your administrator password because if you change networks and need to log in again, you will need this password to update the settings on your Camp Pro. You will automatically be scanning for available Wi-Fi networks. You will want to look for your campground network or the network you would like to extend. In our case, this is the Wi-Fi Ares network, so we're going to click it and then click select. On this screen, you will only do two things. First, go to the hotspot password and enter the password for the hotspot you are extending. If you are at a campground, this would be your campground password, or if you're testing out your system at your home, it would be your home network password. The second area we are going to enter a password for is the network password. The network password is the password that will be required of all the other devices that we want to use with our Camp Pro. Remember this password, you'll need it in the next step. Now click finish. You'll see a screen that says applying changes, wait for changes to be applied. 
Then you will now see another notification that says please reconnect Wi-Fi and select the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 network. What you're going to want to do is wait about 45 to 60 seconds before attempting to reconnect your Wi-Fi to the Camp Pro 2 network. This is because there are some changes that are happening in your R36A router that take about a minute to finish. So again, I'm going to speed up the screen here. All right, so it's been about a minute, and now our next step is to click the Wi-Fi icon again, and now we're going to have to reconnect to our Camp Pro 2 network. You may have to scroll down to find it if you don't see it immediately. This time you'll notice that it is secured. When you click connect, you'll need to enter your network password. This is the most recent password you made and will be used for all devices connecting to the Camp Pro 2. Click next and then click yes. And again, you're going to have to wait about 30 seconds or so for it to connect to the network. You may see this screen where the Wi-Fi icon is grayed out. Wait about 10 to 15 seconds and then go into the address bar and we're going to type in that 192.168.36.1 and then press the enter key. If we have done those steps successfully and entered in the correct passwords, we will now see a status on the top right that we are connected. This means that we are now receiving internet from our Wi-Fi Camp Pro. And to double check this, go ahead and open a new browser tab and go to your favorite website to see that you do in fact have access to the internet. And once the web page loads, you know that you are now connected to the internet. What I wanted to show you was exactly where to put this because this is your Wi-Fi radio. This is what's going to get you the reception from the campground. And the Camp Pro Mini is designed so that you can keep everything inside the RV. We have our full-size Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2 online if you want to put an antenna on the outside of the RV. But if you're trying to keep everything on the inside, we recommend suction cupping the Alpha 36 NH to your interior window. Now, I recommend cleaning the window first with some towels and drying it off, and then applying a little bit of moisture to the back side of the suction cup just to make sure it will stay on. And we're gonna go ahead and suction cup that to the window and hold it and let go. And now we're doing great because we have our antenna oriented straight up. The window is much less of an obstacle to the Wi-Fi reception versus the walls. And we're gonna get a much more clear signal than if we had this device sitting over here on the table where the RV walls are gonna obstruct our signal.